Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two different corner clamps. We've got in the red corner, the MLCS Can Do corner clamp, and in the blue corner, we have the 90 degree clamp from Craig. Both of these have their advantages and disadvantages, but both can definitely find their place in the woodworker shop, especially if you are into cabinet making like I am. So let's take a look at both of these and see how they stack up. So first up, we have a clamp that looks a lot like some of the other ones that you may have seen on the market. This is the Can Do clamp made by MLCS and really high quality. I've had a couple of lightweight corner clamps or 90 degree clamps, one from Mastercraft and one from Pittsburgh Tools that I bought when on a trip and stopped at a Harbor Freight. Both of those, the mechanisms broke and even some of the, the outer pieces on those broke as well. So very low quality, whereas this one feels really solid. And the cool thing with this is that you can actually clamp pieces of different sizes and it has a total, I think that you can clamp up to two and, a, two and three quarters of an inch on one side. So a lot of flexibility in that. And just to show you how this works with material of different sizes, let's grab a two by four. Let's, it's very easy to screw in. So it's got this. I do wish that I had one of the ones that was sticking out with more of a handle. This can be a little cumbersome. There you can see the clamp actually moving up towards the other face while maintaining along there. So really kind of neat how it does that. And then once we get it close, let's take a sheet of, I think, quarter inch plywood. Hold both pieces down and clamp it. And you can see there that I have a perfect 90 degree clamp with a two by four, uh, so about one and a half inches wide, and then the quarter inch plywood. So that's something that's really cool about this. There's one other component that I love about this clamp, and that's that the height of it right here where you'd be essentially resting the workpiece along, just to show you that. That height is exactly three quarters of an inch. So that is really nice just to be able to throw down a sheet of plywood beside it. So very similar to the Craig pocket hole jig. You can throw your workpiece on there and know that it's both resting on the clamp and resting on the workpiece to give it a little bit more stability. So those are a couple of my favorite things about this clamp. Next up, we have this little guy from Craig and it's kind of funky looking at first and can be a little intimidating to figure out how to use, but once you get used to it and get the tension dialed in perfectly, this is immensely valuable. Very easy to go between half inch material, three quarter inch material. It does allow you to go up to one inch thick. The only requirement with this is that both pieces of material have to be the exact same thickness. And yeah, it just works really well. So I'm gonna get something, a little demo set up, and then I will be showing you both of these clamps and some of the pros and cons of each of them in my cabinet making. All right, going handheld here. So you can see that I have kind of my typical setup where I have the can do clamp from MLCS on the bottom. And you can see that I am using a three quarter inch piece of plywood to hold up these three quarter inch work pieces. And then at the top, I'm using the Craig 90 degree clamp. And this is generally how I'm using these two clamps in tandem and I'm very happy with how this works. So a couple things I wanna point out. One is that on the inside, so you will see that the height of the can do clamp is fairly high. So it's about an inch and a half. So the pocket hole, and I do have a pocket hole drilled there as low as I can access with the drill. Just to show you that it, will fit just above that. So it is quite high up from the base and that's not ideal. Now it's about the same if you're drilling on the inside as well with the Craig. So it comes down as well, but you can generally fit it in a little more there. Hopefully that's coming into focus. And moving around back, here's another story. And generally when I'm doing casework, my holes are gonna be on the outside of it. So this is generally the use case for this. And what you'll see on the Craig is that with these built for the pocket hole system, they actually have this little uh, raised piece right here. So you can actually drill the pocket hole and then pop it in from with, with the clamp mounted. So that's really handy when trying to get close to the edge of the workpiece. And this is generally about how close I like to get to the edge when doing pocket holes. Whereas on the MLCS, you can see that's that same issue with that height. 
And what I would generally try to do is position my pocket hole at about this height, but I can't then drill it in place with the MLCS clamp in position. So that's definitely a downside of using this clamp on the base. I can usually work around that again, just by repositioning and starting from the top and then coming to the bottom, taking off the clamp and then drilling in that final hole. So I drilled this one to show you just about as close as you can get. So that is one of the downsides of the red MLCS clamp, but there are also downsides with the Craig. And what you can see at the top right here is this handle. So it extends a lot and this base isn't really built to rest on a workbench. So you'd essentially, if you want to mount this onto the bottom of the workpiece, you'd have to have it hanging over the edge of your table, which doesn't always fit what you're trying to build. So for me, I generally like to have the sturdiness of the MLCS on the base. Then the Craig, I kind of disconnect and will engage on the top or on the sides whenever I need it. So that's generally how I work with these. Now let me show you how this works with a T-joint. So working with a T-joint can be very easy with the can-do clamp. Just unscrew that, slide this over, put it to your mark and clamp it down. So then you can see that we have this perfect T-joint right there. So before I show you the one quick adjustment that we have to make on the Craig for these T-joints, I just wanna mention that these retail for about 35 to $40 US and about $60 Canadian. So a good 10, 15, $20 more expensive than the MLCS, but the portability does make them quite handy, even if the requirement is that the material be the same thickness. Now to get it to work for the T-joint, we just have to loosen this screw in here. This actually took a little bit of testing because I was always fully removing the screw and then had a heck of a time putting it back in each time. If you just loosen it enough, you can then pull this out and you want to rotate this 180 degrees, push it back in and let's screw it back down. Then what we can do is we can essentially take our clamp and if you look right here, you can see that essentially looks like one of those older style 90 degree clamps. We can then slide it over our piece and then clamp it down. And this is really, again, kind of that, that use case that I have all the time. So when I'm putting together bookshelves or needing to put a shelf on a step back cupboard or something along those lines, these two clamps do a great job at allowing me to both have it mounted relatively securely to the workbench and, and stable, and then also have the portability to move between um, different components with the Craig. So yeah, so there you have it. Really easy to release as well. Um, but yeah, both really handy to have. And I think that this covers kind of two of my typical use cases when doing uh, some of my cabinet work, especially when it does come to pocket holes or working with dados, uh, which is sometimes more often the case with these. So there you have it. That's my coverage on these two corner clamps. The red one from MLCS, their can-do clamp, and the 90 degree clamp from Craig. Both of them are great to have and have both earned a spot in my shop. I am planning to add a couple more, maybe even three more of the can-do clamps, given both the reasonable price that they are and the fact that they can work really well on bases, especially for some of the larger projects that I have coming up. But you really can't beat the versatility and the flexibility with the 90 degree uh, unit from Craig, especially when you're dealing with work pieces that are of the same material thickness. So for me, generally working with either three quarter inch or a half inch plywood. So they can work really, really well in that case. So let me know in the comments below what you think. What clamps are you using? Which ones do you think I should check out? What do you think about these two? If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.